to look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect. Before you play, better button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful Monday morning. We got a full week of checking these buttons. I literally just came from the barbecue. It is late. I still got confetti all over me because we were celebrating some Easter. Hope you guys had a good weekend. We have so much action happened over this last time. I know my appearance looks a little different. I can't even find my hitbox hat. I really can't. Sounds like a setup, but I'm, that's honest to God. And as always, chapters down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject, and that sub button is right there as always. Thank you guys for taking the time to help the channel grow. We're trying to hit the 50K. A lot of exciting action. We got a lot of exciting buttons. Ladies and gents, let's go. All right, next up into them Evo lineup numbers that need to be checked. Okay, so obviously this pops off in the world of Evo. Evo not too far away right they posted this just the other day saying evo 2023 end of early bird registration and you can see the games down below number one street fighter 6 obviously the game ain't even come out yet it's gonna be number one baby it's gonna drop what in like two months then we got guilty gear strive over tekken 7 that ain't no surprise right I know if it was Tekken 8, that might be a different story, but we still talking about Tekken 7, right? Underneath that, Marvel or Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. That's right, people talking about wins Marvel, it's right now. And then we got Dragon Ball Fighters, King of Fighters, Melty Blood, and Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat coming in last right now. Think that's a surprise? I don't know. I think a lot of people been talking shit about MK11 for some time. They ready for that 12, baby. And matter of fact, on that note, can we post this? Sonic Fox, Interesting enough, posted this just the other day saying, expecting a MK12 announcement this week. That's right, this week. Some people are like, why? Like, where are you pulling this from? Others think it's gonna be later towards the end of this month, but that's interesting. You know, Sonic know them. Sonic knows some NRS, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be too shocked if he was correct, because maybe he knows something we don't. But either way, I think that's an interesting guess. You know what I'm saying? Sonic Fox talking about this week. And on that note, I thought this was hilarious because right after, or right around the same time that Sonic said that, I saw Ed Boon tweet this saying, MK12, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> because somebody made this meme. Somebody by the name of Rain. I'm gonna put their profile on the screen right now because they definitely need a shout out for this because I believe they recorded it. They created it. Anyway, check out this clip. Um, they're, you know, kind of like their origins leading up to the point where they're kind of being entering the tournament or being presented with the tournament. And so you do that for a number of characters. They're all leading up to something. And so when you look at them all together in the context, um, you're kind of like, what is this thing that they're all leading up to? And the answer is the game. So you buy the game and that kind of finishes the story. But back to these EVO numbers, I see Rick right here, general manager of EVO, event director, combo breaker. Y'all know who this man is. We talked about him a few times, right? Making statements. He was actually the one that made the statement saying that Punk and other players were correct about EVO Japan. Remember we talked about that video last week. Anyway, he posted this saying, EVO is shaping up to be gigantic this year with the close of the early registration showing a two times increase over our 2022 early reg totals. It's truly marvelous time to be in fighting games. So there you go. We got EVO about to return. We got a lot of people excited. It seems like the numbers are about to be bigger than they were last year, which is exciting because some people were starting to think or even say, what if Japan EVO becomes the new standard, right? What if tournaments start to dwindle here in the West and Japan kind of flourishes? But you know, forever, like the main EVO has been here in America. And I don't know if that's wrong to say the main EVO, but it's true, right? Because EVO started here and Vegas has always been you know, the biggest. I know things are kind of weird still with the COVID and the lockdown and all that other stuff that happened back in 2020, and we're still kind of recovering, but it looks like with the surgence of Street Fighter VI and all these other games, that people are gonna start participating. Tournaments will open up. I don't know, I'm, I'm excited, you know what I'm saying? I'm being optimistic, but right now we're talking about double the numbers. I mean, I'm even considering going to EVO this year. I wasn't, 100% not, but now, I don't know. I was talking to the doc the other day, uh, even the fine people at Hitbox, and I was like, why not? So there you go, Evo coming up, the numbers is hot, Street Fighter VI gonna be there, is you gonna be there? Let me know how you feeling. All right, next up for them, shut the hell up, Tekken 8 buttons that need to be checked. It'll make sense right now, this is a hot one. So Tekken 8, right, Harada-san, y'all know Harada, man needs no introduction, but his information is on the screen, and of course all the content creator links down below, definitely check him out, sub, give him that love. 
posted this just the other day, right? And I want to thank everybody who tagged me in this story, right? Because it's definitely a hot one. So Harada was on Twitter. They were asking him questions, right? Somebody went on and said, can we please get the crossplay? Some of you might've heard of this before because people already started making videos about it in the last couple of days. He said, crossplay, of course I will. By the way, that when the previous generation consoles were released, I had already proposed crossplay between the two platforms. However, at that time, they were at odds with each other over the mutual interest and P2P security security issue and repeatedly refused. Then somebody else asked saying, can we get some recommended specs for Tekken 8 on PC? Harada says, it's not confirmed yet, but if you want to play 4K native, the higher the specs, the better. One thing I can say that is if you're in an environment where you have to worry about specs, I recommend playing on console. Some adding, can we get a weekend beta of Tekken 8? I am itching to play with Lars. I can't get enough of the gameplay and the character reveal trailers. He says, he replies, we are still only doing closed alpha testing at each event, so please wait for the beta. Jay asks as well, say, how many characters should we expect for Tekken 8? At launch, Harada says, I think it's a lot more than Capcom. Of course, character modeling, rigging, and costume design are all new assets, so it's hard work. That's why we are trying to increase the number of launches. And then now we get to the infamous rollback question, right? Somebody says, okay, but will there be rollback? Harada says, already installed it, and it already has what you want. The reason why we don't make big announcements like crossplay is because even if we make big announcement, people like you will say things like, wah, that's normal in this day and age, so shut up and sit the hell down. Damn. <laughs> it sounds like something Harada would say. You know what I'm saying? FGC reacts to that. The guy that posted it, what, cheap local fool? Like, he even responded saying, Harada, I just asked a question. What the? But then he followed it up right here saying, I'm honestly not even mad. That's hilarious. Thank you, Harada, for rollback and crossplay in Tekken 8. So that's what's up. At least he has a good sense of humor about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody would that actually knows Harada and how he trolls and likes to talk shit would actually take that personal, you know what I'm saying? But the real question is, is even Tekken 7 had rollback. A lot of people would ask him and he would be like, it already has it. So y'all need to chill the hell out. So the question remains is, well, how good is the implementation of the rollback gonna be? Because a lot of people consider Tekken 7 to be patchy or not too good to say the least as far as like online gameplay. So if you're telling us, okay, Tekken 7 had rollback, but now you're saying Tekken 8 had rollback, well, is it the same or is it gonna be better quality? But apparently they actually hired like a new company or new devs, or whatever, to help them with this part of Tekken 8. So a lot of people are expecting the quality to be at least a little better in Tekken 8. So there you have it, Tekken 8, Harada coming out swinging, telling people what time it is, answering, wanting to do it, well, not doing the open beta, but still kind of testing it out. I believe it's not even coming out till next year. And in the meantime, he's telling people to shut the hell up and have a seat. How y'all feeling? Let me know. There it is again. Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. I know I say that all the time, but let me know. Let me know how you guys are feeling. I also want to thank you guys for the last video when I talked about Justin Wong and the advice for YouTube and all that. Your comments down below were fucking hilarious, man. When you guys were like, hey, Ernesto is responsible for Justin's success. And did you hear Button Check is responsible for Justin Wong? All that stuff. It was hilarious. I read every one of them. Thank you guys for the amazing love and making my day. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon. If not tomorrow, definitely the next day. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. You can. All right. This is usually the, the, the time where I put like a clip or something like that. I, I still might. I don't know. But if I put this in, did y'all see the UFC fights? Did y'all see Israel? Israel Adesanya with the knockout? I had to put, I lost my mind. I lost my damn mind, and I just want to put all the UFC fans, I'm right here with you. I was going for Izzy. I thought he was going to lose. I'm going to keep it real, but damn, that was amazing. I love it. I love the the, the, the drama. I love the victory. The, it was a good comeback story, man. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm hype. Easter was great, man. Loved it. I'm just feeling thankful. It is late as hell right now. It's like almost 1 o'clock in the morning, and I still got to edit this video so y'all can watch it by like 10 30 in the morning so uh pray for me love y'all see you soon peace one more time